Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at another match for the league. We haven't made much progress, we're still in October, I haven't had much time to record or to move forward in in the game so so we're just moving forward slowly at our, my own pace. So, um, so that's fine. Uh, before we jump into the match let me just show you the progress we've done so far. So we had a few losses just recently for the league. We managed to, is this the group still? It's the group, but we've qualified. We have one more match to play um, for the Papa John's trophy, which is very nice. And yeah, so so we are currently 22nd of the league, which is not the place where we want to be. Just above the relegation zone. We need to make some progress moving forward. Let's see what this match has in store for us. Let's go. So, um, yeah, not, n not much, uh, nothing new, not not many news uh, in terms of um, uh, any uh, anything else happening at the club because not much time has passed. Now, Bristol is currently in twelfth, so they are the stronger team here. I've decided to go balance for us, but. Um, We'll see how it goes. Narrow miss. Let's just pull this table down so we can see our progress as well. Now, ideally, we'd want to be here just below Bristol, but we've lost con consecutive matches, I think. I think we had a draw somewhere, but yeah, we'd, we've not been doing too well in the league, I'm afraid. And as I mentioned in the previous episode, the main issue is money. We're not able to bring in the players that we need because we don't have a huge amount of money at the club. And also, we, we've not been able to upgrade facilities, etc. So, so a little bit stuffed. We, we, we really need some cash injection in our club. Like a big, a big cash injection. Like, I don't know, a new owner or something like that that's going to come in and just inject a load of money in. I don't think we've had a highlight yet for our own attack. Hopefully that will be happening. So far defense is doing pretty well at avoiding goals, but if they keep shooting like this, it's going to go in eventually. I think this might be our first attack attempt as far as the highlight goes. We've got a nice up the wing movement. Let's see if we can do something with this. We need to cross now into the area somehow. Okay, he's going to go from the right apparently. Anton Yaz is going to put it in, hopefully. No. Oh, yeah. He beats his man and it's a miss. Pretty good movement though. Both sides involved. And it looks like it's going to go like this to the halftime. I'm going to put in a different striker. I think. Yeah. Okay, another attack. And it's a goal from McManus, the um, centre-back. Very good. Just a simple corner, crosses into the middle of the area and McManus just ma happens to head the ball. It was a bit of a confusion there, but pretty good. We've got one in the bank. And here, it was wide, good stuff. I 
All right, last few subs. Let's see. Uh, this guy's tired. Um, and you're not doing too well, so let's put Horn in. Okay, last attack possibly as far as a highlight. Five minutes to go. Okay, there's going to be a corner from this. No, pretty good, pretty good stuff. I'm quite happy with the results. A win against Bristol is always, always welcome. And that means that we're now slightly further up the table as well. Let's see if we can squeeze in another game. Uh, 18th at the moment. I don't know who we're playing next. So... Let's praise you. Should probably look at that scouting report just to. I like to clear the, the clear the list just in case. Um, I'd like to let it clog up too much. Okay, Fleetwood is next. They're further up the table than Bristol. It might be harder to get result against them. In fact, I know it will be harder to get result against them. Um, course. I always like to send my coaches on courses because then it makes them slightly better over time. That's nice. Oh, rejection. There's no money, I think. Okay. Let's have a quick look at our youth as well. I haven't had a look at that in ages. They're the second in the third division behind Bristol Rovers youth. So they're doing pretty well then. I think it's their first year in this league or maybe the second, I can't remember now. But we have one goalkeeper in the team of the week. Okay. Fans group want to take control. We don't want a fans group. We want someone with money. We don't know if the fans have money. Hmm. How's it looking in terms of finance? Yeah, pretty bad. Oops. 
didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's go through the team again just to see if there are any changes to be made. Um, I'm gonna leave McManus because he scored. That's a good sign. Leave it on here for now. Uh, put Kieran back up. stay and you can stay okay as far as the bench we are gonna need yeah so we have a youth player right now covering the right side of the fence just in case somebody gets injured during the match um, that's fine I think we've got everyone we need I might swap You two. Actually, let's put. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, happy with that. And let's go to the match. Okay, so another game at home, but this time against Fleetwood. Fleetwood are in eighth at the moment, and we are in 19th currently. And straight away, a goal. <laughs> that was so predictable. Okay. So they're now moving up the table. So the top of the table is quite tight. There isn't much between them. So that means we're in 20th now. Players are pretty unhappy right now. Oh, there we go. A little bit better. Got a chance to do something here. Nice, from far, Sapo Song. He hasn't been scoring for a while, so that's good for him to, to, to see a goal at this stage in the league. Pretty simple goal from far. Just turns and boom, to the corner. Pretty nice. He's been struggling a lot this season because he's kind of running out of his depth, really. But hopefully can still do some nice things for us. Nice pass here to Doyle. And Doyle between the legs of the keeper. Here we go. Here's a comeback. That's a pretty good play from Misapo Song, to be fair. Having the vision to pass the ball over straight away. And here we go. Nice stuff. So we're up on 18th. Sorry, up on 12th. Wow, that's pretty good recovery. Up to 12th. Fleetwood um, came back down to 10th. And it's half time, and I'm not going to change a thing. Let's see what the second half brings. Okay, I'm just change the right wing. 
put the broadly on. Got a corner. Before the corner takes place, I'm going to take Zordania out and put horn again. wide shot there. <laughs> Alright, last sub. Uh, let's just do it now. Um, yellow card. Let's put the young player in. Um, I mean, it's a bit of a risk. We don't want to lose this game, but since we're a little bit ahead, maybe you can try the young player just to see what they're like. Doyle. into Brown to Powell and this Apple song was just a little bit too slow to catch that one. I'm mean, a back level but that's not the end of the world. Um, maybe we can still do something with this. 20 minutes still left to play. Um, yeah, I do. So f the young player seems to be pretty nervous, I think. Yeah. Um, but the guy that I was playing, uh, Lee Ball, was, um, had a yellow card anyway, so we had to sort of get him out, really. We're into extra time. a free kick. Yeah, red card. There we go. Okay, you got a chance, possibly the final chance to do something. Recovered by the goalkeeper. As long as we don't... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that should be... That should be a safe now with a draw. Hopefully. Although it seems like the referee is giving a few extra seconds here. And that's it. Okay, so a, a win and a draw. Quite good, actually. Quite happy with the fact that we got a draw in this match. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a loss. And potentially quite a heavy one. So it seems that we are staying afloat and we are doing better than maybe we would be expected to do but thanks so much for staying until the end of the episode and for supporting the channel leave it a like if you haven't already and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one next week take care bye, -bye.